YouTube my name is Mehul and welcome back to another react video in which we're going to be discussing about on click event in react now the thing is um, first of all let me just get this out clear in react you can only have a single parent being returned from a component right so I can just write you know a bunch of children here it would not it would not just work you can see this saves me at just in JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag that means that they should not be you know you should not be actually returning two, uh um, basically two elements from a single component so what we could do is you can just go ahead and wrap it inside a div or a p or anything you like for now that is one solution but when when you do that you're going to see that it actually it actually and wait for it wait for it you can see that it actually shows in the dom structure right so this particular div is what we inserted right here what if you don't want it to appear in the dom structure that is inside your html so what you're going to do is you're just going to make use of an empty tag which is also completely valid now technically react does not allow you to uh, return more than one element but if you use a close uh, empty bracket or whatever you want to call it and a closing empty tag you're gonna see that it does not you know create any parent whatsoever right so that's that but anyway coming back to what we were supposed to be doing that is on click event so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a button here real quick and I'm gonna say on click right here right so you see how we are writing on click here and I'm just gonna say that on click button was clicked so you see that when i might make use of on click i write an equal to and i make use of this expression that jsx syntax and i say button right for example so what's going on here is that basically i'm using jsx syntax to tell that hey hey react whenever i click on this button i want you to fire this particular function now let's just go ahead and create this particular function and I can just go ahead and say, you know, alert, um, I was clicked. Simple as that, right? So once you do that, you're going to see we get a button here. And if I click on this, I get an alert saying I was clicked. Pretty cool, right? So we have an on click attribute. Now you can have as many events as you want. You're coming from HTML. You have seen that there are events like on key press or, you know, on double click on mouse move, <clears throat> stuff like that and vs codes actually going to help you in this so you can see that on mouse down you get all these events uh, listed for you coming directly from react right so all of these are events and yeah that's that's basically how you're gonna work with events and you can actually receive the event object as well and you can just console log the event object to see what's going on under the hoods if i open the console here what you're gonna see is when I click on this button, oops, when I click on this button, you're gonna see that we get this particular event, which is pretty much similar to what you were gonna get if you attach an on click uh, event handler in just raw HTML, right? So you can just basically just, you know, just work with the button just like you would do on a regular HTML page. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one real quick.